We're back with John Galt, CEO of Husky Technologies. Well, this is our last segment and a final question for you, John. This, this is kind of a scary time for the world right now. <clears throat> so many things that are in flux in Canada and around the world. What keeps you up at night? Mm, that's a very powerful question. I guess I'm a parent, so I'm going to start there. Um, you know, what are the three things a parent can do to help their child get off to a good start? The first one is to tell them earnestly, I love you and I always will. The second one is to say, I will believe in you and I always will. And the third one is to give them the education and opportunity to learn the tools of life so they can succeed, they can make good citizens out of themselves, they can achieve some of their dreams. And so when I think about what I think about when I go to bed is, is that the world we're providing for people or are we providing something different? And a few facts, you know, that, that the team has put together that you heard here and that you saw along with another one who's out advocating right now, Jolene, you know, inflation, there's been a 50% increase in the last four years of inflation compared to the average rate over the last 20 years. The ownership costs of a single family home in the mid eighties, it was about a 40% of a person's or a family's household income went towards accommodation. Today, it's 70%. In the 80s, the average Canadian paid family paid 40% of their budget in tax, and today it's 43%. And with the new increases on the carbon taxes, that's going to rise by another 23%. That is creating an untenable situation for our young people. You know, and, and I have a quote here, and I thought when we were collecting information from people, I'd just read it right off to you. We feel defeated and disheartened, but we still want to try. We have the desire to learn, to grow, to innovate. We are competitive with, with all other youth around the world if we're given the right tools and the environment that allows us to compete. We have a wealth of creative minds and we are ready and inspired if we're given the support and the tools we need to change the world for the better. So what I hear from our youth here is they believe that they can have a healthy economy a great quality of life and a healthy environment. And they want to find innovative solutions to do exactly that. And I wonder why we're not paying attention to the fact that the kind of economic challenges that I just spoke about are very difficult to deal with when your mind should be liberated so you can find solutions. I think Canada can be the innovator of the world. I think we can be the ones providing those solutions. And I see legislation and restrictions and a pull to decision-making at the top of the house that doesn't empower the people to provide those solutions, to find those creative answers. Why are we listening to some relic from the Second World War, the World Economic Forum, telling us that our children will be happy to own nothing and be happy instead of liberating them and providing with the opportunity in the financial environment so they can excel? That's what keeps me up. And every time I read more about that, it concerns me even greater. Yeah, and, and again, I guess it gets back to this point of uh, particularly the federal government, but a lot of the provincial governments as well uh, don't seem to be uh, thinking of, even thinking about how to be promoting the interests of our youth. In fact, they're acting against it in, in so many instances. And that's a very, that quote you read was very affecting that, that young people are feeling that way. And yet you really can't blame them when you look at the facts out there. I think it's also worth noting, this isn't the place, this isn't the situation everywhere in the world either. Like in the U.S., a house costs a lot less than it, relatively speaking, with, you know, exchange rates and so on, but a lot less than it does in Canada. So, you know, I'm interested in your thoughts on that. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, Catherine, I think you and I, we've been in, industry for a long time. We've been engaged. We understand how things work. All we want to do is just leave a little better, a little better for the next generation. And like you said, Canada has to learn to compete with the world. There is opportunity south of the border. There's opportunities globally. Do we want other people realizing the future, finding the innovations, creating the economic value for themselves and their own prosperity, finding a way to integrate the circular economy together with a higher quality of life cycle? more resources in Canada and more opportunity than any other place in the world. And let we're frittering it away with this uh, idealistic and irresponsible goal of trying to push through with this agenda rather than engaging our own young people in the solution. Yeah, to your absolutely, point, it's a John. mistake. They're going to leave and jobs are going to leave. Yep. No, you're absolutely right. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have today. There's a lot of big issues we've been <laughs> we've been speaking to. But thank you so much, John. Thanks to my guest, John Galt of Husky Technologies, for being with us today. Thank you, Catherine. Appreciate the time. 
Well, there's some really good food for thought there about a very important product in our lives, plastic. Thank you for watching Canadian Innovators. If you're an innovator and would like to tell us your story, write to us at ideas at thenewsforum.ca. We'll see you soon.